Oh, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to see this one with the water. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what a gorgeous stone. Hey everybody, Dennis the Mineralist here. We're in southern Louisiana today and we are looking for Crowley Ridge agates. We're out here not far from the town of Clinton, just north of Baton Rouge, and we are working all the gravel roads and gravel pits and gravel bars and anything else with the word gravel in it. Try to see if we can find these agates. They're just scattered through these gravels, which are everywhere in this part of the state and southwestern Mississippi. The gravel pits in this area, which are all along the rivers that flow through here, the Ameet, the Comeet, Tangipoa, Bochito, all these other rivers, they, they dig up all this gravel and then they pave the roads, the dirt roads out in the country here. So that's where we go to look for the agates. And they are everywhere. Hopefully, we're going to find a bunch of them today. So stick with us and we'll see what we can dig up. The special variety of agates that we're looking for are found all over a vast area that includes eastern Louisiana and western Mississippi and stretches all the way up into Arkansas and Missouri near Crowley Ridge, where they get their name. The prevailing theory is that these agates formed as hydrothermal intrusions of silica-rich steam that made its way up through cracks in the earth to fill the inside of cavities in the limestones and other sediments of the upper Midwest as far back as 300 to 400 million years ago. As the limestone eroded, the agates fell out of the matrix and were then picked up by ancient rivers and streams. The precursors to the Mississippi and Ohio rivers, which used to run to the east of where the Mississippi River is now, tossed those rocks around, breaking them, grinding them, and smoothing them into the shapes that they are today. As the rivers changed their course, they left behind the rounded gravels in their empty riverbeds, where they were soon covered with sand and topsoil for ages. In the last few hundred thousand years, new rivers such as the Amy, Tangipahoa, Bochito, Pearl, Homochito, and others carve their own paths down into the soil, exposing the ancient river gravel that contains the agates. The gravel bars of those rivers and the commercial gravel pits along their shores are where we find those agates today.
These are hot, very hot rocks. Whew. Well, at least we found a spot to park in the shade. It's only 3 billion degrees here instead of 4 billion like it is out there in the sun. Man, I have got a case of hunter's hair. Oh my gosh, look at this, hot mess. Gotta put the hat back on so we don't scare the townsfolk. Onward to more agates. So we've found a gravel road that leads actually up to a gravel pit. The gravel pit's still in operation, so we can't go in there, but they, uh, they have no problem with us hunting on the road here on the way. A lot of the dump trucks that come back and forth carrying the gravel drop the material on this road here. And uh, luckily mom usually takes her time getting back to the car, so I decided to poke around behind the car. And sure enough, look what is sitting right here. Right here on the side of the road. Beautiful. Eye agate. Oh, it's got a little pocket on the other side. Let's clean this off some more so we can see the see the whole thing. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? Oh yeah, some nice bands around there, but I love these these eyeballs that look at you. Alright, so here we have a piece of fossilized coral. Right there, in the center. Let's see, we got this thing. Oh. Yeah, it's not that great on that side, but. It's a nice little piece. Now, this is unusual. There's a piece of red coral. Typical honeycomb pattern. Zoom in on there. Wow. That is pretty cool. Mom's gonna be jealous. I'm normally not a big fan of chert unless it's really, really attractive, but man, this stuff out here, some of it is just incredible. Look at the bands in this church. Not bad at all. That is a really pretty piece. Definitely going in the tumbler. Something you don't see every day. It's an agate pyramid. Oop, keeps wanting to flip over though. It's a little triangular agate pyramid. It's not huge, but super cool. Come on, focus. There you go. It's looking at you. Okay, I'm not sure what the heck this is right here. Agate of sorts. It's just got a really weird growth pattern. Look at that. I don't know what to think of that. I have to do some research and figure out how this happens. That is insane. Well, I did some internet searching and I wasn't able to find anything quite like this rock for comparison. However, as fate would have it, it looks like a fellow YouTubing rock hound may have helped solve the mystery. Rob over at Michigan Rocks pulled up an incredibly strange agate in one of his most recent videos that looks to be a pseudomorph after another mineral, quite possibly barite. Pseudomorphs occur when the original mineral is eventually replaced by a new mineral but keeps the crystal structure from the original. The more I study this stone, the more I'm thinking that's what I might have here. In fact, barite or calcite may be responsible for the original crystal structure, which has now been replaced with agate. If anyone has another theory, please share it in the comments below, because I'm open to all suggestions. And if you get a chance, head over to Michigan Rocks and check out Rob's channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks, Rob.
case anyone thinks I'm crazy when I say sometimes these things are just sitting right here on top of the soil. There it is. I mean, the only thing missing is a sign pointing to it. Look at this crazy agate. nuts now at this point you may be asking Dennis why haven't we seen what your mother's been finding well it's true that all the rocks I've shown so far were my finds and that's because I usually save the best till last and this trip it was my mom who's celebrating her 73rd birthday that scored the biggest and the best agates as an obsessed rock hound she rarely lets me hunt without her and like all her previous birthdays she spent this one with me in the heat and the bugs and the dirt like any dedicated rock hound would she came to find her own birthday presents, and Mother Nature was happy to deliver. Check it out. So I got one over here. Somewhere. Hold on a second. Let's find this thing here. Ooh, that's a nice one. Wait a second here. Hold on. Let's get in here. Okay. Light her up. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Well, that's, that's got bands amazing. for days. Nothing but with those marks. Yeah, look at that. Let's see, let's see get this focus. Wow. Oh, it's got a red band too. There we go. Oh man, that's a nice one. Boy, that just jumps out at you. It's a nice birthday find. Yep. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> get all of it. Look at that. Crystal pocket right there. Look at that. Man, that's a big one. That, we have to get that out. It yeah. won't come out. So, it's huge. Huge. What we got going on over here? Ooh. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's got like a bluish purple. Ooh, some nice pants on the other side. Wow, oh, look at this right through here. Man, that's a nice one. Getting a little close up here. Look at the blue. Ooh. That's my prettiest see, one. See, you've got smoky stuff Today going through there. Today I see that, yeah, and that Jersey a, right there, too. True? Yeah. Very nice. More birthday. Yep. Let's see this monster. Mama got the birthday present. Whew. Of a lifetime. Look at that. Let me try Focus to in on that. Nice. Okay. Wow. I mean, wow. That is crazy. It's like a big old, it looks like a heart. Look at the lines in that thing. That is insane. That's the biggest, best agate of the whole trip. My gosh, look at the detail in there. Yep. I don't think we're going to beat that one. I win. <laughs> <laughs> you win. You wow. win. That's crazy. Yay. Happy birthday. Well, it was a great weekend for hunting, and to top it off, we were rewarded with this beautiful sunset before heading home. As we close out for now, I wanted to say that I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll check out the other videos on my channel. The channel is just getting underway, so if you have any suggestions that may help us make better content, please message me and let me know. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Brian, the crystal collector, who you might have noticed in my mother's birthday photos. His channel is where I first got the notion to start a channel of my own. And I wanted to say thanks again to Rob at Michigan Rocks for finding a rock just like mine 1,500 miles away on the same week as me to help me possibly solve a mystery. Please check out both of their channels, which I have linked in the video description below. You'll find some incredible stuff there. If you've enjoyed your time here, please give us a like. And if you think we've earned it, please subscribe to the channel because we have a bunch of new videos in the works. I'm Dennis the Mineralist, wishing you happy hunting.